right onto Great America Parkway. Everybody, I'm Brad Professor B. We're out here at Santa Clara Levi Stadium in New Hall for the San Francisco. Show us your chance! It's the season premiere. It's the season premiere. Yeah. 49ers tailgate at our new home base here. We're getting ready to pile in. It's an NBC Sunday night game. Niners taking on the Bears. And once again, all of you watching us on Bay Area Sports Weekly.com, part of the Arena Sports Network. And we got a lot of Niner fans. We're going to have so much to talk about the new stadium, plus some other news going around in the NFL. The big story we're going to try to hit on on this first show is domestic violence. There's a lot of school yeah. going on. We're going to be talking with fans. Uh, we got some fans here. Hey. Yeah. Hey, how's it feel I, for the first game? Yeah, it's awesome, man. I can't wait. We've been waiting for this for a long time. The new stadium. Is this for real? Yeah. This is for real. That's really? right. This is awesome. Sorry, I'm getting over a little bit. How do you, how do you feel about domestic violence? <laughs> hey, we got a fan right here. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, well, uh, enjoy the game. So we have so much more coming up here from Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. I'm Brian Professor B. Davis in Santa Clara. This is Brian hey, 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 on the season premiere of 49ers Tailgate on Bay Area Sports Weekly.com. Here on 49ers Tailgate. Hey guys, how you doing? How you guys like the new stadium? Fucking awesome, bro. Okay. Stadium. Silicon Valley, baby. Yeah. About to do it. About to open it up with a W. Okay. Keep yeah, the language bro. clear. Keep the language clear. Okay. I miss Candlestick, man. I miss Candlestick. But this is our new home base. I was at the Dallas <laughs> Takeover, man. Is this for crap? Hey, you were you were there. You were there. I was there. Check my Facebook. Not in Empire Forever. Not oh, that was for eight. There are more Niner fans. That Calgo fan. It ain't about him right now. It ain't about him. It's about it's my about, boy, man. It's about my boy. It's my boy right here. What are you talking about? All eyes on my man right here. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys. And okay. What do you guys think of the, for the 49ers so far as we're doing this taping? The Seahawks lose to the Colts in their down at San Diego. Their old AFC West foe. Hey, let's get this win and take take the division lead early. We got to take it. Then we see him on Thanksgiving, and we're going to get him. All right, guys. Enjoy the game tonight. Thank you. Yeah, you have a good one. Give me in there. What's up, baby? Yeah. 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 And also, I got some good news that the Sea Pigeons lost to their old AFC West for the Chargers today. There you go. Well, you know, they don't play well on the road. So they, they set it off at home. But it's week two, and they had to play in San Diego. The so old they AFC West foe. <laughs> the old AFC West foe, but they're still a current foe. But we'll do all right. We'll do well. We're going to play hard. And no matter what happens out there on the field, the, same, the answer to this question remains the same. Who's got it better than us? Hey, how you guys do? Hey, how you guys enjoy the new the new fortress here? Love it. It's we're we're going to find out real quick. Stick, but so far, so good. <laughs> it's Florida Bears. What is that? Florida Bears. I agree. It's an Florida Bears. Now the job. Uh, it's just a big Can't drink on the job. Where do you find that? Oh, I've got, oh, I bought that on, uh, you know, I, we got this uh, for a company cost me real expensive, 50 bucks. Yeah, you're that not thing? Stanley Roberts, yeah. are you, with people being No, bad no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm pretty sure like Stanley Roberts. <laughs> I'm taller than him. I know, I like him. But anyway, hey. it's good, but the whole crowd's change is different down here. Well, this I is almost like, Mike this is almost different. like Southern California, Anaheim, well, San Francisco, well, all those years. the true and the low down here. You didn't have a shirt on your Name, sir? jersey? Go ahead, Professor B. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. We got a little bit of heat issue here that we're not used to, and uh, we're just enjoying our drinks and having a good time. Thank you. 
Okay. <laughs> All right, so, um, yeah, it's, it's the vibe is definitely different. The vibe's different, man. It's just not the same. You know, it's, we'll see what happens inside. Jed York is just sitting there counting his millions. That's all right. But the York family doesn't care anymore about the average fan. If they did, they would have left us in San Francisco. You know? The well, thank you all. The money well, don't, it's not on them. I could blame it all on Mayor Willie Brown and yeah. Gavin Newsom. They have a, a, a they're they're part of the reason why they're here and they're not having a stadium in San Francisco. It's part of it. It's part of it. Absolutely. But at the same time, Jed York jumped on the bandwagon to bring him down here. So, and it's not really Jed York. It's his parents. Let's face it. Wouldn't you like it if your parents handed you a billion dollar team? Be nice, huh? <laughs> Thank you. All right, you're welcome. We continue on uh, BayersportsWeekly.com, San Francisco 49ers uh, tailgate show. One of our next, uh, one of our stories we want to talk about a very serious issue. Yes, this is the uh, first game of the uh, regular season game of, of of the new stadium for the 49ers. But one of the biggest stories we want to talk about in the NFL is. The, the, the state of domestic violence happening in the NFL. This is a, this is a very disturbing trend this week. We want to talk with fans what their thoughts on domestic violence. And we continue on football tailgate, tailgate on BayAreaSportsWeekly.com. Got more Niner fans coming down here. Where's our boy? Where's our boy right there from the RV? Hey guys, Dwayne. What's up, man? Hey. hey go take my picture, bud. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Come and see us in the RV. All right. We're the first one in. All right. Hey. 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 The NFL with uh, domestic violence. Well, I uh, think it's a serious matter, but I think the media loves the negativity of it, and they're making it bigger than it needs to be. One player, each team. Let's move on. Let's play some football. Uh, I agree. I agree. And then there was, uh, according to my sources, that Roger Goodell didn't even show up for today's home opener. I think Roger's done. I think uh, I think he he may be found guilty in the court of a public opinion. <laughs> I mean, this may be the worst commissioner I, out of all well, the. I mean, Gary Bettman was bad for having those two work stoppages. Um, but I think he may have to, in a short list, have to be go down one of the worst commissioners ever in the, out of the four. I think, I think Roger's overpaid, and he's not performing, and he's the face of a really ugly scenario. He needs to leave. We've lost oh, confidence. No. He did a good job of pushing the personal conduct policy. I, will, I won't take away from him. Yeah, baby! I don't know her. What was that question? Where's I think Godel, Godel was the guy. I mean, he did a good job implementing the, uh, the, the tougher penalties on the um, conduct policy. I don't take away from that, but the, the way that things have been going wrong, it's it's just been a little out of hand. I way think he's lost control of the ship. Uh, we need a new uh, skipper. All right. All right. He may be the worst commissioner out of the four pro major pro teams since, I think, since uh, I'm going to go throw my wild card since Faye Vincent. <laughs> Faye Vincent. That's pretty old. So, Benson was forced out by Major League Baseballers, which would eventually led to that uh, labor problems of the strike 20 years ago. This is true. Faye, Faye needed to go, and I think Roger needs to go. Okay, we'll see. Thank right. you. Yep. Everybody's Thanks. going go into the game. We need to leave. All right. <laughs> Back here at Levi Stadium um, behind me, as the Bears get ready to play the Chicago Bears for the NBC Sunday Night Football Game of the Week. Our, our season premiere of Boyanaires Tailgate was a great way to kick off the season. And uh, we're gonna, this is going to be our first one. We'll be back again in two weeks when the Niners will be taking on the Philadelphia Eagles in a couple of weeks right back here. And uh, we'll be, this is our first of the, what would be eight Boyanaires Tailgate shows. You can catch us on BayersportsWeekly.com, part of the Arena Sports Network, part of uh, Professor B Media Productions. I'd like to thank everybody, all the Boyanaires faithful in the Boyanaires Empire. Boom. From San Francisco Bay to Santa Clara, from the UK and beyond. For the latest of the 49ers news, go to 49ers.com and BayAreaSportsWeekly.com. It's the network association with the Arena Sports Network. This has been, you've been watching 49ers Tailgate on BayAreaSportsWeekly.com. Take care, everybody, and go Niners!